Hello everyone, I'm Stan, co-founder of Orapa, which is a paper intro marketplace where you get warm introductions to your dream prospects. So meet Kim. Kim is a customer of ours and Kim is the sales manager at a company called Loop Returns and Kim is on the lookout to close more deals with e-commerce companies. The old way of doing so would be to buy a software, then buy data, and then even potentially hire someone to manage all of it. The new way is simply using Orapa. On our marketplace, she goes and she fills out a quick form where she specifies who she would like to meet with, how much she is paying for the introduction, and other details about her customers. On our marketplace, Kim meets Jan, and Jan is a BDR at a company called Firework. And Jan has a large network of e-commerce companies. So Jan goes to Orapa, fills out a quick form where we, where, we can, where we can find him the best opportunities that match his network. He sees Kim's opportunity and sends her an introduction offer. Kim accepts that opportunity and finishes the payment, sends money to Jan for the introduction. The end result is that Kim just got a new customer and Jan made $200 from his network with just a few clicks. The business model is that we charge $99 a month subscription from people like him and we charge a 10% marketplace fee from people like Jan. We have about 65 customers. They get on average 30 new leads every month and we are now at 6K MRR. We 5X our grow in the last six months. Our go-to-market is outbound and referrals. Our beachhead market is e-commerce industry, which presents us with $5 billion opportunity. We are on track to hit $1 million in 2021, and by adding free tools and content, we will hit $10 million in 2023, with one-third being from subscription revenue and 70% being from marketplace revenue. I am an ex-pro Olympic athlete. I used to work at Cornerstone, and my co-founder, Dominik, used to work at Samsung. We met at Kozminski University in Poland, and we are a part of Launch Accelerator right now, led by Jason Kalakanis. Thank you. I'm Stan, co-founder of Orapa, which is a paper intro marketplace. That was awesome, uh, Stan. That's a great overview, great pitch. And, uh, you know, I think it's really an interesting opportunity because, like you sort of highlighted, salespeople really want to have meetings. They don't want to just be sending random emails and spams and dialing for dollars all the time. I guess one of my questions is, when the, when the middleman in the, in the relationship makes the introduction, does the person at the company that, the, that Kim wants to meet with, do they get paid? Or are they just learning about a product they might be interested in? So no, the, the, the middleman, the rain maker or the um, intro maker, as we call them, they get paid for making the introduction. Um, it can be, of course, a different vehicle, um, just for example, a, a commission for a sale, but the usual is just a, for the introduction, which usually is a phone call, a meeting on the calendar, or just an e email introduction. Great. And then how do you think about it? Do you think long term? Because there's lots of people that have great networks and great relationships, but a lot of those relationships can be overlapping. How do you think about what happens over time as you get really big and multiple people can make the same introduction? Do you see that becoming like a, a bidding war or sort of the marketplace pricing coming into effect if 20 people all know the head of, um, you know, the app store at Apple or something like that or some, some really valuable relationship, but there's a lot of people that can make that connection. How do you think that kind of works out over time? Um, so I think that would be a very valuable for customers, uh, companies, because they can pick uh, the best introduction to, which is, for example, the, the best relationship with the prospect or uh, just the best insights on the prospect that the uh, intro maker can, can provide. I guess along those same lines, one of, the, one of the other questions I have is, what do you think is more valuable, I guess, the, the sort of the score rating of the middle of the rainmaker, as you call the person? Like, are they somebody who's able to actually make those introductions? Or is it the value of their network? You know, they know somebody at, at Apple or Amazon or at all the major e-commerce sites. Like, how, how do you think about the, the relative, as you build out this service and you build out the network and the marketplace, what's more important to go find people that have those relationships or is it the rainmakers and keeping them really happy and really motivating them to, to encourage people to come on and, and use the platform? How do you, how do you see the different stakeholders and, and their relative importances? So, of course, having a high quality introductions will decrease value to, to customers, and that's what we're all about. Um, however, I think we need to find the right balance between getting those uh, valuable um, relationships and also getting the scale of maybe not so valuable, but still life changing introductions that can add a couple of deals to the pi pipeline in a span of a year. Awesome. And I trust Daniel is going to interrupt me when I'm, when I'm out of time, but I have one more question. 
which is that as you think about sort of the technology, right now you've sort of built this workflow kind of marketplace to broker these introductions and connections, but do you see there being a sort of a data and technology play over time where you're going to leverage, I don't know, their social network connections or, or other kinds of relationships to try to figure out what the actual map of the of the network looks like, you know, looking at their email or things like that? Yes, this is on the roadmap. We hope to release a couple of more tools to help map those relationships and have, help actually uh, value your network. You know, how they say your net worth is your network. We hope to actually put the number. Yeah, awesome. Look, I like the combination of the subscription-based sort of subscription with the, uh, the total usage fees and the take rate. I think it's really cool. So thanks for sharing it with me. Thank you.